Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is for the da, 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 October Bambox Horror, which of the two Bamboxes for October I'm most excited about because you know I'm into the horror stuff. Uh, there were issues with getting the boxes out. Uh, shipping was a little bit of a problem, and so I ended up getting this late, but I'm not going to talk about that on this video. If you want to know the details on that and my feelings on everything, go back to my Bambox pop culture box, which I just posted the same day, uh, probably before this one, so it should be available and you can get all the, my feelings and stuff on that. I do want to say up front though, I have down in my description for this video a link that you can use to get some money off if you want to sign up for Bambox. And if you use that link, if you're interested in getting it, helps me out a little bit because it'll go towards getting me some upgrades for my boxes for free. And then if I end up with enough people signing up through it, actual potential free boxes, which obviously helps out because I'm not currently at least making money on this. So, you know. And with that said, please hit the subscribe. It takes you literally like a second. Just hit that for me. It'll mean a lot for my channel long run if enough people do it because then I could start actually putting some ads in here and monetizing a little bit and that might give me the ability to then unbox some other things so I'm not spending too much out of pocket. Um, honestly, I would if I made any money on this channel, I would just put it right back into buying boxes to unbox. Let's be honest. So, you know. Um, anyway, the October box. I'm excited. I don't think... I don't think I remember any of the franchises for this one. And that's started to, like, become a theme for me. For a while, I was, like, remembering, oh, you know, it's I remember one of the franchises or two of them or whatever. Not so much anymore. As time goes on, your brain gets worse. Just know this, people. Tissue paper for the cat. Another. And another. I'll tell you, bam. My cat's really liking that you guys are sending three pieces of tissue paper per box. That's not a joke. She gets pretty excited. She loves it. So, this thing on the top just feels like crumpled paper. It is. Oh, I see why it's crumpled. Okay. Eh. I mean, this is one of those things, like, I get it. Like, it's kind of cool. But at the same time, like, especially when it's crumpled, how, how do you display this when it's crumpled? Like, normally what are you going to do? You're going to put it on a wall, so you'd have to, like, flatten it out. Well, I guess you could, and you could still, like, see the creasing in it. I understand why they did this, because it's, like, an old, missing um, paper, and it's been, like, beat to crap and crumpled up and stuff. I get it. But if people don't get this, this is from the new It movie. Um, so there you go. Is that... Yeah, I guess that is, like, um, Finn Wolfhard, so. They took a picture of Finn Wolfhard. I don't know if they can do that or not. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, it's just, that's throwaway for me. I'm not that interested in that. It's, eh. Um. There's a sign in here. A heavy sign. Ha! Ah! Okay. So, this is very simplistic, and it was pro probably something that you can get a lot of places. Um, but I'm totally down to have this, to be honest. A Elm Street street sign. Woo! I like the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I own all of them. Uh, I don't own them on Blu-ray, unfortunately. I bought them on in a DVD, like... Oops, sorry. Just kick that. Um, I bought them on DVD in, like, a collection a long time ago. And I was just like, I, it's, those are still the movies. I don't want, like, all the special features and stuff, so I'm not going to upgrade it to the Blu-ray. But maybe I'll feel differently one day. But this is cool because I'm going to put this on my wall. I have a bunch of um, Nightmare on Elm Street stuff on my wall. Actually, a lot of it came through Bambox. So, oh, and um, kind of spoiler, if you haven't seen the Pop Culture Box unboxing, there is something Nightmare on Elm Street in there. So go check that out, and I this will go well with it. So... I like this, actually. Typically, I'm not down with, like, the signs or the license plates and stuff like that in the box. But I like this one. I'm down with that. Okay. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh! Boom! I did get a one-up. That's cool. I got a one-up. always like seeing those one-ups. Hopefully, it's for the pin. If it's a good one. Love these pins. All right. Uh... 
Oh, designed by Lab Creature. This is, okay, I'm going to admit, this is not one of my favorite horror movies. Like, it's okay, in my opinion. And I'm sure there are going to be people out there when I show you this who will be like, what? You don't love that? It's Pumpkinhead. Like, look, Pumpkinhead is fine. It's decent. And that's the actual pumpkin head from the movie Pumpkinhead. And it's a good, that's a good pin. It looks nice. It's a creature. Pumpkinhead, I like it. Let me see if there's a number on this. I'll figure out if that's my upgrade. No, there's not. So this must be the common one, which means my upgrade is something else. Probably the art print. But, yeah, I'm just not huge on it. I, I like the fact that Lance Henriksen is in it, at least in the original one, because he's a really good actor. I like the stuff he does. But, I don't know, the movie, I've watched it, well, maybe I need to rewatch it. But I watched it a long time ago, and I was just like, yeah, Like, it wasn't bad, but, you know. But this is a cool pin. I like that. I like that pin. What do we got? Got the piece of artwork. It is by Trevor Dunt. Oh, oh, oh. This is cool. I like that. Wait a minute. Is this signed? Oh, that's signed by him. Okay, for a second I was like, where it's signed, I was like, hold on a second. Um, yeah. So for the the Exorcist, man, look at this. And it's done like the old school VHS tape. Oh, it's so cool. See, I saw like there's an autograph like right there. And I was like, wait a minute, did they get this signed by Linda Blair? That would actually be cool. But check, the, check it, man. And this is number... Four ninety nine out of five hundred, so I just made the cut, kind of. Look at that, ah, dude, that looks so good. That looks really good, and this is the thing. Like, I love like nostalgia VHS stuff because when I was growing up, like VHS was it. Um, it was all about VHS. So when I see like you know collectible items that have VHS involved, I'm a fan. And actually, it just reminds me that there's a. Um, there's a company out there, I talked about it on my Monster Mania wrap-up, that convention that I went to. You can find the video on my channel still. Go check that out if you want to know about this. But there was some company, and I referenced them in that, who was, uh, they were taking like old VHS tapes that had like um, horror titles on it. And I don't know if they were like printing out the labels themselves and putting them on there. But then they'd have like those little like colored rope lights on the insides of the VHS where like the little clear windows are. And it's just like a nightlight, kind of. Well, I mean, it's a little bit larger than that. But you just, like, set it somewhere, and it's, like, different colors. And it's got, like, the horror film in the middle. And it's pretty cool. So, I don't know. It's just saying that to say I like nostalgia VHS stuff, especially when it's mixed with horror. So this is... That's nice. That is definitely going on my wall. Definitely going. Okay. Then we have the autograph. Oh! Oh! Okay. I'm debating on whether I, need, I will say like a spoilery thing about my pop culture. No. Okay, I'm not going to say anything spoilery about the pop culture unboxing, but when you see this autograph, definitely go watch my pop culture unboxing because you'll see why. Okay, you'll see why. So this autograph is Ira Hyden from A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. And he was the kid in the wheelchair. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, man. He was the one who had the wizard powers. Love it. Love it. That's cool. And he signed it in gold. I'm assuming that's probably what the variant is. Ooh, unless the artwork was variant. I'll find out. But this is... Oh, no, it was, because I said 499 out of 500, so most likely that was. But this is cool. The quality of that looks a little bad, but... That's just because it's an old movie, I think. Plus where they're... Oh, they put like some... Intentionally put like some... You can see. Like some green stuff. I'm sorry. Like some green flecks and stuff to like make it even... Make it look like older. More worn. Which I don't know why I'd do that. But whatever. That's cool though. I like that autograph. I like it a lot. Okay. Now the spoiler sheet. I'm going to put this box over here. Because it's... All I need. Okay, obviously, I don't need to show you the, the Elm Street sign thing, because that's there. Then we have the Richie Tozier missing poster from It. Do, do, do. And there's a picture. Like, they did see a picture of he and 
um, Wyatt Olaf, um, Finn Wolfhard and Wyatt Olaf holding a replica of that. So they did a good job getting the same thing going on there. So that's cool. Um, so the Dream Warriors. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Look at that. I wish I would have gotten that one signed. That one's awesome. All the all the like special artwork. That one's actually pretty cool too. That one's fine. I mean, it's all good. Um, the artwork for the Nightmare on Elm Street like special DVD collection on the front. Those those things look so good. And that's like what this is. It's it's the same type of thing. Okay, so the pins for Pumpkinhead. Uh, I got like the common one. The out of 250 is looks even nicer, and the out of 99 is cool, but I think the out of 250 is better, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Which is your favorite of these? Comment down below. I should be more interactive like that, like ask you specific questions in this video about what you're seeing here. I'm going to try to be better about that. And then the Exorcist fan art collection. Um, art print by Trevor Dunt, who did a really good job. Okay, so the variant, that was the variant. So they're, they're both the same, except the coloration's different. So this is just like the black VHS, and this is the, the silver. This is an instance where I think that the the um, the rarer one does look better, because it make like, how light this is in comparison to this border makes the center picture pop more. So I like that. I'm glad that I got that one. And then... I didn't talk about it in my pop culture box unboxing, but the giveaway that they had going on for this one, it's Robert England signed 11 by 14 photo. That's cool. Um, I already have a Robert England autograph because I met him in person and he's awesome. Really awesome. Super nice guy. Okay. So overall, I like it. I like it quite a bit. This is a good one. Um, this is so cool. So, so, so cool. Love the VHS throwback. More VHS throwback stuff, Bandbox. More. I know you can, probably can't do that because not everyone is my age who's getting these boxes or from the VHS era. So I understand, but if you could. Autograph, definitely cool. Dream Warriors, definitely one of the best uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets. So that is very cool. The pin, not my favorite movie, but the pin looks really nice. And that's going on the cork board. And don't really like getting signs, but I'm going to put this sign up. So that's kind of a first for me. And then this prop replica, I mean, they, they did a good job making it look like the way it's supposed to look. But it's just, for me, it's not a big thing. But overall, really like this box. It's a nice box. And that's big for me. When the horror box in October is very good, like this one was, it makes me super happy. Because I'm all about October. I'm all about the horror. All about Halloween. So when I get to celebrate a little bit more with a box like this, it makes it even better. So thank you, Bambox, for putting together a awesome box. And you guys usually put together really good boxes. So in general, thank you for that. And um, I know you guys are working hard. I know you work hard there. So, you know, us fans, we really appreciate it. But anyway, everyone, thank you for checking this out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to use the link if you're going to order a Bambox. And until next time, keep it brutal.